Hi, I'm Stephen Patterson from Matisse Derivan, and today we're going to talk about surface preparation. Now, most artists nowadays, because, the, uh, because canvas uh, and prepared canvas, pre-primed canvas are readily available, most artists tend to use these. And the lost art of preparation or surface preparation um, needs to be rediscovered to open up your opportunities of different things that you can paint on. Now firstly, we'll just talk about unprimed canvas to begin with. With unprimed canvas, normally you would just apply a gesso. There's no need for any other sealers or anything. So you just apply a gesso to the canvas. Now, Matisse make several different gessos. Gesso MM10 or medium 10 was made to be applied with uh, metal rulers or, or spatulas. It's a really thick gesso. Nowadays, people tend to use brushes and rollers a little bit more, so we have a low viscosity gesso as well. It's the same sort of thing, it's just a little thinner, and it'll go on really easily. And we've got a black gesso, uh, which is similar to the MM10. All of these gessos you can add a little bit of water to, and you probably would, for the first coat at least, when you're priming, unprimed canvas, uh, especially if it's quite coarse. Moving along, if you want a really low tooth gesso or something that's fairly smooth and you might want that for airbrushing, um, you'd use the Matisse background colours. Now there's 40 colours in this range. So if you're used to using or you want to use a different coloured background, that's the way to start. Indeed, if you mix the transparent gesso about equal parts with the background colour, you can come up with a pastel primer or something that's got a lot of tooth, a surface with a lot of tooth that can be used for charcoal and pastel priming. And indeed, the transparent gesso can be used with the other gessos to give them quite a bit more tooth. You could use the transparent gesso straight on to uh, unprimed canvas as well, to see the canvas for stain painting or, or wherever you want to see the canvas through underneath. So we've talked about canvas, but there's many other surfaces that you can apply, especially acrylics to. If we were to talk about uh, bricks, um, concrete, and even wood, what you need to keep in mind before you put down the priming surface is that you want to stop anything, certainly for wood such as resins or uh, tannins coming through through the gesso and even possibly to the paint. Clear sealer, medium number 12, is the medium you'd use there. You put down a coat of this and the same if we're working on bricks such as we have behind us or even concrete. Now obviously prior to this uh, application of the clear sealer you'd want to clean off the surface. If you're outside and you're doing an outside mural, you can hose it down, but you need to clean it off. It needs to be free of dust and free of all grease, any of the surfaces we're going to work on. So you put your clear sealer down, you put your primer down, and you're good to go to work further with your, with your painting. If you want to work on something uh, like metal, now bare metal, you'll need to go and get a, an etch primer from a hardware store before you then apply the clear sealer, the gesso and the paint. What you will need to put over the top of that, once you're all done, is the solvent based varnishes, one of the solvent based varnishes. These varnishes will completely close off the surface so that you don't end up with any oxidation or in other words rust. If you've got a galvanized surface or a surface that's already been prepared, once again, you'd use the clear sealer uh, to prepare the surface. You could use the gesso or indeed you could use the paint straight onto that. Moving along to something such as glass or any really non-porous surface, glass, porcelain, tiles, that sort of thing, once again, you'd use clear sealer or you can use polymer gloss varnish down first. Before you do that, the surface must be clean again. So what you need to do is use a solvent or a window cleaner to clean off the glass first, then make sure it's thoroughly dry. Apply a coat of the clear sealer or the polymer gloss varnish, leave it to dry, and then go ahead and work either with the gesso first or you can put the paint straight onto that. What you want to do is finish with a coat of the polymer gloss varnish. Don't use the clear sealer as a final coat because it's, it will remain quite sticky. 
Keep in mind though, acrylics are very uh, flexible, which is fantastic for canvas um, and even wood, but on a surface such as porcelain or glass, you may well still be able to scratch them off with your keys or something like that. So now you know how to paint on any surface, you can go out and colour your world. I'm Stephen Patterson, thank you for watching.